What's up, guys? <laughs> you know, we were, this is Fell Friday, but we kind of missed it by an hour or two. So we're going to do it anyway because we're slack as shit. And that's the way we roll up here in the Wings of Redemption channel. Slack as shit. So if you slack as shit and you're proud, go ahead and give me a shout out. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what kind of questions we got this week for Fell Friday. Yeah, dudes. Let me tell you about this right while she's looking up the first question. I beasted on some Wii Archery tonight. No, you didn't. I beasted. I mean, I look. I watched one game, and I'm like, man, I could take Grandma, Brooke, and Shalene. And keep in mind, Shalene is an experienced Wii player. It's the only system she has any background in. I took it and took it to another level. They weren't ready for the level that I brought to the game. I just shut down shop, son. The door went closed. It's retarded. Give me a question. Give me a question. All right, the first question is from your boy Josh Barber. He wants to know what superpower would you have if you could have superpowers? And this is going to be a little two-part question here. I'm going to have my take on them, have Shalene's take on them. My part's two parts. First off, when I was around 13 or 14, the only superpower you could give me at that time was invisibility. Reason being, I just wanted to go into bathrooms with girls undressing and look at them. Did you want to do that when you were... Yeah, that's the only power I wanted back then. But nowadays, I'm a little bit more sophisticated. I know that I can have my perv and do other shit too. So I thought about it. I thought about it real long and hard. And I'm thinking, man, do I want to fly? Do I want to burn people? And I thought about, like, why would I just pick just one? I want to be a motherfucking wizard. That's right. I want to be. A, I want to be one of those, you know, Gandalf motherfuckers that can like hurl fireballs out of his hands and like create force fields and walk through shit. Either be a wizard or Magneto. What would you like to be, Shaleen? Okay, well, I would want to be, like, the girl on The Incredibles. You know, the little teenage girl. Where she could make herself invisible and put a force field around her and, her, and what she touched. Except I'd want to do it with a twist. I'd want to shoot fireballs from my hands because that's just pretty freaking cool. I don't know. What would you do with fireball shoot for me? Well, like, if you... When I was a little girl, like, my brother was into comic books, and there was, you know, some... So you wanted to burn the motherfuckers' comic books up? No. There was, like, some... It was, like, an off-brand comic book, and the superhero in it, he could shoot fireballs from his hands. I just thought that was really cool. Well, let me ask you this. What would you do with these superpowers? Fight crime? I don't know. What would you fight crime? Oh, you put give, me that mic. give me that mic. You know, fighting crime is one thing. That honorable shit. That's some eight. That's some eight-year-old bullshit. You know what I'd want to do? Make more fucking money. I'd be doing fucking like Harry Houdini shit. Be like, look here. I'll make that paper over there burn up. Be like, Oof. and it didn't have motherfuckers writing books and shit about it forever. And I'm sitting doing this shit offhand while I'm fucking counting cash. I mean, I wouldn't need to buy, like, trucks or shit, but I probably still would, just to have the motherfuckers. I'd, I'd buy, like, a pair of blue shoes and then get, like, a fucking truck to match it. But that's the way I do it, because, you know, real life evil is being more fun than being the good guy. But the next question, what's the next question we got? <laughs> oh, man, this is a good next question. This next question comes from Joe Kim Nucky, and I think this is more of a troll question, but it goes titled like this. Is your girlfriend a gold digger? And he goes to write, I heard that she doesn't have a job, she has two kids, she lives in your house, spends your money, and you met her on a dating site. Sounds like me, like she's a gold digger. What is your opinion on this? And no disrespect, just wondering. How about we let Shalene answer this, since she's the one being accused. Actually, she's giving me the hand, she wants me to go my view first, so let's go my view. Alright, the reason she doesn't have a job is because the job that she had when I first met her was in Surfside Beach was a good 45 minutes away and the rate of pay that she was getting I, I pretty much deemed it unnecessary that she worked because what was she end up doing she ended up buying gas and paying for like the kids to go to daycare and she'd be working for free when she could just stay home and the kids could stay home and not have to pay for daycare and we'd have me up the gas money so in the long run we're saving money by her not working at her old job and that was my decision not hers she just happened to go along with it and the reason being is I make enough money to uh, pay all the bills in the house. 
and uh, I always made enough money. I mean, if she if if, got, if things got down to the point where we were you know forcing to go out in the street, she would most likely would go run and get a job, and I d I don't doubt that for a second. As for her being a gold digger, I mean, she cooks, she cleans, she does everything you know a housewife would normally do. A gold digger is a person that does none of these things and still expects his money in handouts. She earns all her handouts. So, you know, when I want to get her something nice, it's not because, you know, I feel like giving her something nice. It's because she deserves something nice. That's my opinion on it. The truth of the matter is, we have it balanced. I do the housework. Jordy works here in his office making videos for you guys. That's how it works. It's a 50-50 thing. And at the end of the day, he does help me with my kids a little bit, you know. And you end up helping it's, with my job like you're doing now. Yeah, I do. And I help him with his job a little bit. It's a 50-50 thing. It's, it's a give and take thing. It's not I'm taking all everything from him or he's taking everything from me. You're not sitting in the house watching fucking Bravo all damn day. No. Bon bonds. No, I'm cleaning the house, scrubbing the house, taking care of the dogs, doing all this stuff, running errands. I come in here and help Jordy do a lot of work sometimes, so that's how it is. So no gold digger. No gold digger. All right, the next question is from Daniel Collins. Ah. Daniel Collins. Whiz kid. Whiz kid, then. Yo, bro. I just got dumped by my girlfriend, who was the first girl that I ever loved, and yet people, she, and yet again, she fucked me over and had an ex tell me that she likes some other dude. Blah 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 blah. Okay, short story short, long story short, he's been out with this girl a number of times, and he's been dumped by her a number of times, and it's always been for like another dude. He doesn't, he doesn't really tell me if it's the same dude or different guys that she's dumping him for. So I'm going to assume it's different guys that she's dumping him for. But this new dude is treating her like crap, and he doesn't like seeing it. Yeah, but that sounds like some romantic comedy crap. No, I've got some advice for this one. Oh, here you go. My advice to you is move on. Get rid of her. There's more fish in the sea. You obviously sound like a good guy. You don't want to see her hurt, but guess what? She did this to you four times. She deserved what she's getting right now. Trust me on this one. You deserve better. She deserves what she has. Because what goes around comes around. So I would move on, find you a new girl, someone who's going to treat you right, and not dump you for some other dude. I mean... She deserves what she's getting right now, and you deserve better, so go find you a nice girl. So basically, you're going the, uh, there's plenty of fish in the sea route with him. I mean, yeah. I, I don't really know what to tell the guy, mainly because I don't got the correct information to give him. Like like I said, I don't know if it's the same guy, different guys. I don't know how he treated the girl himself. I mean, like, is he, is he, is he jack slapping her around? Is that the reason she's leaving? Maybe she's a glut for punishment? Does he have plenty of money and he's jack slapping her? Or is she treating her real good? And she's just, you know, using him for, you know, the fact that she treats him really good. A lot of girls are vicious. Like, a girl, if you treat her nice, and she knows that you'll treat her nice, and take her out to movies, and do things like that, and she'll use you until something better comes along. Like, I mean, your girl Kiri's like that, isn't she? Not anymore. Well, not anymore, but she was like that for a, a part of her, a part of her youth. Yeah. I mean, you gotta kind of look out for girls like that. And I think the vice is pretty solid. You know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. If one ain't treating you right, try, find another one. I mean, no matter how good a girl looks, you know, looks is very, very, a very small portion of what a relationship actually is. Because beauty lasts what 10 to 15 years. Personality is what you actually go for. Because a personality is something you'll deal with the rest of your life. After that girl's beauty fades, you know, what do you have left? Somebody that's, you know, not really that good looking no more and has a shitty personality. You don't want that. You want somebody that loves you for who you are and is with you for who you are, not what you can do for them. That's my that's my advice on that. I mean, but that we're pretty much going to wrap it up with that question right there. As you've seen the Moab just go off. This is uh this is what I like to call Fail Friday. We probably need to give a new name up for it. Um if you want to be a part of Phil Friday and you have a serious question, um, you, there, there's a email right down below in the description. I'm going to go ahead and say it now. It's sapphirewings30 at hotmail.com. Please put the question in the top topic of the thing, 
and um, go ahead and let us know. Generally, more serious questions will be answered and taken into a, taken into it. And um, hopefully, you guys send us a lot more questions. Well, we seem to be getting a lot of the repeat questions, so it gets harder and harder to find really, really strong questions. So if you have a, a serious concern, and hell, even if it's something that we can do for you, like I am not. I'm not from going out and finding somebody that can answer your question if I can't answer it myself. And hopefully I'm going to start doing some of that on there as well. And you can see the gameplay slowly winding down. It's been your boy Wings of Redemption. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like or a favorite. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And as always, stay gaming, pimps. You want to give a, you wanna give a about intro? Nah.